What the heck is pooping H2O's and Roller Bros, and welcome to another edition of r slash Insane People Facebook. I'm your guide, Q, and we've got some doozies today. Let's just hop right into the cringe. Hey, Commonwealth Bank, how about you service your ATMs in Bunbury so punters like me will not have to tape fish to them so you'll have no choice but to come and fix them? I have more fish and tape and willpower than your entire organization. Fix them now. I mean, this is on Facebook. I would say that it qualifies as insane people Facebook, but I think this is really a case of insanity gone right. They just adopted this baby. Thoughts? I hope they don't sell that baby's organs. Yeah, I said it. And sad truth is, it's more common than you'd think. Yes, because my favorite thing to do is go through the laborious process of adopting a child, filling out all that paperwork, having it on record that that baby is my child now, and then selling it for its organs and trying to play it off like, I just lost my baby, oops. Before and after, this is why I choose unique, complete coverage, long lasting and lightweight, no filters needed, hashtag feeling pretty, hashtag unique, hashtag no filter. Yeah, you can tell there's no post-production going on here whatsoever. This is just the pure results of great multi-level marketing company makeup. Honestly, if there's makeup that makes you look this disturbingly fake, I'm, I'm genuinely interested. I've got some stuff that I want to do where I want to hide my identity and look like a completely different person. The sun is actually a prop made by NASA. The sun isn't real. Hashtag research flat earth. NASA has always been lying to us. But what will those scum say to this picture? Leaked photo of NASA taking the sun down for maintenance. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. The sun is clearly in the back of that truck. I, I don't understand how anybody could dispute this information. I would not do chemo. I would eliminate any sugars, even whatever they are feeding her there, and continue the CBD oil. No, that's stupid. Chemo has been proven unhelpful in many ways. Blasting an already weak body with radiation that lowers the immune system more doesn't sound smart to me. That's because you're stupid. Also, I almost forgot to mention that this is a comment thread on a post about a two-year-old that's suffering from a very bad form of cancer. And I don't pretend to know how chemo works, I'm definitely under-informed on this topic, but I'm pretty sure people wouldn't be putting millions of dollars into research on how to treat and attempt to cure cancer if the main thing that they were using to treat it actually didn't work and made people worse. But maybe that's just me sheepishly accepting the lies that have been spread by the government and corporations and cancer is actually cells they put inside of people that they have deemed to be undesirable. And the main form of treatment that they give you in the form of chemotherapy is actually just a tool to finish the job. Baby girl stuff, $25. She's so cute, I want to see how much. Thank you, and do you need baby girl stuff? No, I want baby. Um, I'm not selling my daughter. Oh, I'm sorry. Dude, can you guys imagine how crazy the profit margins would be if you could buy babies on Facebook for $25 a piece and then sell them on the baby organ black market? I, I really want to get into that industry. When I see white girls, when I see brown girls, when I see native girls, when I see Asian girls, when I see black girls, when I see light girls, when I see dark girls, when I see girls who lift up other girls regardless of their skin color and support each other. In case you're just listening to this, the response to seeing any of these girls is heart eyes. This person's clearly happy to see girls of every color. Which I don't know why you'd need to state that, but I guess it's just a positive post. But here's the response from the ever-inclusive people of Tumblr. This person takes a screen cap of when I see white girls' hard eyes and says, Hey, quick question. Why does this post exist? Oh, for Pete's sake, because all women are beautiful, you limp-ass waffle. Why are white girls listed first, though? Like, they're worshipped almost everywhere else in the world. It's called Eurocentric beauty standards. I get that the point of the post is positivity for everyone, but, uh, I think white girls get plenty of that. The poster is a white girl who put herself and the others who look like her first by default. Was she trying to be racist? I don't think so, but she inadvertently revealed the issue with her post just from the first sentence. She was speaking from a first-person perspective, but it showed her racial bias and people are pointing that out. It is what it is. She shouldn't be mad about it, but more understanding of what that criticism means and try to reflect on it. 
So if you're going to post about all women being beautiful on Tumblr, I think your best bet is to just not include white people whatsoever. Just exclude them. That's your safest option. But if you're going to be a risk taker and include white girls, don't put them at the beginning. I also wouldn't put them at the end because then they'd be like, why'd you finish off with white girls? What, you're saving the best for last? What, a white girl needs to be the last thought in our mind? So I'd throw white girls somewhere in the middle. I don't know where the safest place to go is, but somewhere in the middle there. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is racist? Do you think it shows a racial bias? Because I'm just a white guy over here, so my perception is surely skewed in this situation. Happy birthday, That's So Raven Simone. Isn't she a lesbian? Yeah, she still has birthdays. I mean, the question of isn't she a lesbian is very confusing. I don't know why that's being asked here, but I'm more insulted that this person would call Raven That's So Raven Simone. We all know she was on that show. You don't have to identify that it's That's So Raven Simone to let us know. We all know who Raven is. That's so racist. Racial bias, I can see. That's so racist. Your post is bigotry. Yeah. I have to laugh at all the people who say essential oils aren't beneficial to health. Two years ago, my friend's aunt was going through chemo for breast cancer, and the doctors said she only had months to live. I wouldn't accept this diagnosis, and after using my own research, I came to the hospital and explained to the doctors what I had found. They allowed me to put drops of eucalyptus and lavender oil into the chemo drip, and the literal next day, I got a phone call from the hospital telling me the tumor had shrunk nearly all the way away, and that her cancer wasn't terminal anymore. They said it was directly caused by the oils I administered. My friend's aunt and I hang out to this very day, and she brags to all of her friends about how I saved her life. 523 notes that'll get you on Tumblr. Oh my god. Obviously this did not happen, because if it did happen, all of those doctors would be at risk to lose their license to perform medicine, because you can't make drug claims about something that isn't regulated by the FDA. Essential oils and other supplements are not regulated by the FDA, and therefore you cannot make any claims that they cure or treat diseases. That is illegal. Menstruation isn't natural, it's an unnatural response to improper dietary habits and toxic environments. All estrogens are poisonous. Can somebody who gets periods explain to me why this isn't true? I know it's not true, I just don't know the exact reason. I know that estrogens aren't poisonous, I know that much. How raw is this? I like it extremely raw, but do you sell the bees themselves kind of raw? Just natural from the hive. I need the bees, don't sell them. Until they're cooked though, right? Bees are just uncooked honey. I need to check that you are legitimate before purchasing. You do cook the bees and then squeeze them into honey, don't you? Yes? No? Nice jokes. That's such a rude thing to say to a potential customer. No offense, but there's no such thing as cooking the bees. You are a fraud. True honey collectors cook the bees before turning them into honey. Otherwise, you're crushing up live bees to make them into honey. Honey is the bee's blood, yes? How are you supposed to collect that without killing them? No, dear, honey is made from the nectar of flowers. It's collected by the bees, and they add it in the honeycomb. Wrong! WRONG! Honey is a sweet, viscous food substance produced by bees and some related insects. Bees produce honey from the sugary secretions of plants, floral nectar, or from secretions of other insects such as honeydew. They do this by regurgitation, enzymatic activity, and water evaporation. Honey is stored in wax structures called honeycombs. Oh, those ones and the two is citations. I messed that up. The variety of honey produced by honeybees is the best known due to its worldwide commercial production and human consumption. Honey is collected from wild bee colonies or from hives of domesticated bees, a practice known as beekeeping. Just read a little bit from the internet. Thank you and Happy New Year. Yeah, that all basically means bee blood. So it's not bee blood? Wow, oh my god, just wow, that was insane, like, this is the perfect insane people Facebook, like, I really wish this woman would have just messed with Bonnie here and been like, okay, it's, it is bee blood, it's totally bee blood, that's the most concentrated form of honey you can get. And then she just, like, waits for a bunch of bees to die, squeezes them down, and serves it up to Bonnie and makes a nice profit off of it.
Hey, if you want to follow me other places other than just YouTube, want to see pictures of my cats, hit up my Instagram, at QStarVideos. Uh, hit up my Twitter, also, and QStarVideos, twitch.tv slash YourQ. You can find me over there. These will all be in the description. In addition to that, you'll have Amazon affiliate links to all of the equipment I use for my videos and streams. Cool thing about those links is if you click on them and do other shopping, I also get credit for that, so consider doing that sort of thing. Otherwise, skate on to the best of your abilities. I hope you're having a wonderful day and week and new year so far. Make sure you're drinking more water and I will see you very soon. Blessed be thee.